Hello and Namaste. Today we are going to understand the process of using emsigner.com. Please check your email. You'll receive a document to sign. As you can see in the screen, Mr. Deepak Bhandari from Radiant Infotech Nepal has sent an important document to be signed. Below you will see the option Preview and Sign. Click on it. The document is loading. On the right side, select Digital Signature to sign this document. Since this is the first time using emsigner.com, I have to click the Download Now button which is displayed for downloading emsigner client utility. Once emsigner is downloaded, go to the folder and extract the zip file. Extract all. Here we can see the emsigner exe file. Run the setup. Provide the location or use the default path as well. Click on Next. I'll click on No since I've already installed emsigner client utility. Then click on Install. The emsigner installation is complete. Now go back to the document page and refresh. We can see the emsigner running over here. EMSigner will take the default port 1646. Here is the document to be signed. I will sign with the digital signature certificate. My digital signature certificate is populating over here. You click on the certificate and sign the document. If the EMSigner is not populating in your end, then you will have to add the exception by going to the browser and typing https colon slash slash 127 Point zero point zero point one colon and the port running over here which is 1646. I've already added the exception which is here and click on apply. Basically if your digital signature certificate in the EM signer isn't appearing in this window then you'll have to add the exception. Click on Advanced and proceed to Unsafe. Your exception will be added successfully. Now you can sign any document using our Digital Signature Certificate. This is all you need to know about using emsigner.com to sign a document. Thank you.